Hi! In this video, we're going to work with the normal distribution and find cutoff points corresponding to a given percentile. Let's try it with an example. The average daily high temperature in June in LA is 77 degrees Fahrenheit with a standard deviation of 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Suppose that the temperatures in June closely follow a normal distribution. How cold are the coldest 10% of the days during June in LA? We're given a normal distribution, so the first thing we should do is to draw a curve and mark our mean. Then we want to think about where does this observation live, the cutoff point for the coldest 10% of the days in June in LA. Since it's the coldest 10%, it's going to be located at the lower end of the distribution. We're kind of guesstimating a cutoff area there, and we're interested in this unknown observation x. We're working with a normal distribution, we have some percentiles, it makes sense to think about z-scores. Usually we calculate a z-score as an observation minus a mean divided by a standard deviation. And then we can use that z-score to go to the normal probability table to obtain a percentile. In this case we're given a percentile and we're actually missing the observation. So we can work our way backwards, use the percentile to obtain a z-score, then solve for the unknown observation. So let's bring up a normal probability table and let's try to locate the z-score corresponding to the 10th percentile here. It's a little tedious, but it looks like at the uh, bottom of the table, the closest we can get to 10% is 0 0.1003. And then if we work our way to the edges of the table, we're going to see that the z-score associated with the 10th percentile of a distribution is negative 1.28. It makes sense that this is a negative z-score because we're located below the mean um, and the z-score for the mean is zero. So anything below the mean is going to have a negative z-score. Anything above the mean is going to have a positive z-score. Let's use this z-score that we obtained and write the equation for a z-score. That's an observation minus a mean divided by a standard deviation. And by rearranging things a little bit, we can leave the only unknown, x alone, and solve for that. So that gives us 70.6, meaning that the coldest 10% of days in June in LA are at most 70.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's try another one. What about the warmest 5% of days? Let's draw the normal curve again, mark our mean. This time, since we're interested in the warmest 5% of the days, we're going to be on the upper end of the distribution, about 5% here, and once again, we're looking for an unknown x. Let's bring up our normal probability table. If you actually look at the little figure on the table, it reminds us that for a given z-score, the table is going to give us the associated percentile. In other words, the area under the curve up to that z-score. But the picture that we have drawn is slightly different such that we marked the upper tail as opposed to the lower tail. So before we can go into the z-table to locate the percentile, we need to first figure out that the lower tail is 0.95, that's just the complement of 0.05, and then we can look in the table to see if we can locate a percentile very close to that. It looks like these two values, 0.9495 and 0.9505, are equally distant from 0.95, you really can pick either one of them to work with. I'm just going to pick the higher one here, go to the edges of the table, grab the associated z-score, 1.65, makes sense that it's positive because we're above the mean, and once again write our equation. Observation minus mean divided by standard deviation. We know everything but the observation. We can rearrange things a bit and solve for x. The warmest 5% of the days in June in LA are at least 85.25 degrees Fahrenheit. I hope that this video has been helpful for working your way backwards from a normal probability table to find associated cutoff points for a given percentile. Thank you for watching.